Hey, Garrett Brill down here in Texas. Um, wanted to make a quick tech tip type of video um, regarding the Crystal Sky and the hot swap capabilities. Um, so on the Public Safety Yes response team, there's a, a couple of guys that were talking about the hot swap wasn't working anymore on their Crystal Sky. Uh, of course, it was working for me all along and then I had a day where it wasn't and I was I thought something was wrong with my crystal sky, but uh, figured out what it was, and I want to share that with everybody else. I figure if we're having it the the challenge, then there's probably uh, a lot of other people out there too. So um, there's really not much information on this, so I thought I'd share, and it might help some other people out. So <clears throat> what I have here is is a um, crystal sky DJI crystal sky ultra. Um, it's been working very well for us and one of the features a lot of people think ah, oh, just it's just a brighter screen now there's a lot more to it uh, for us we aren't having them shut down for in the heat like the iPads do and one of the nicest features about it is with the iPad once the battery runs out um, you're done unless you have another iPad or whatever but I mean and if you happen to be a mile out flying a mile out well guess what now you got to fly black bind or hope the Return to home is working good or whatever. But anyway, with the uh, Crystal Sky systems, they have a hot swap. Meaning that, see, I'm not connected to a controller, but if this was what I was flying in and my battery was low, um, you know, right now I've got a good full battery, but uh, if it was low, this is where I'm at. I take this battery out, grab a new one out of the box, put it in, and it comes up right where I left off. Um, you know, it doesn't matter where I'm at if I'm here and I swap it out. It just, it really doesn't shut down, right? But the real question is how does it do that? And what can happen if uh, sometimes, well, the, the challenge was is that some guy says, hey, the hot swap isn't working anymore. So, you know, what's going on here? Well, it turns out that the, the Crystal Skies have an internal battery, okay? And if you go to this screen that we happen to be on right here and you click on that, uh, you'll see that there's an internal battery status good. Let's see if I can focus on that. There we go. So internal uh, battery status good. And the reason that it's good um, is because uh, I have left this with sitting sitting on the controller with this battery on. Uh, turns out that there was some of the guys that they wanted to make sure this battery is fully charged. So they were leaving it out and, and on the charger in the charging cradle and what was happening is the internal battery wasn't wasn't keeping charge because it didn't have a power source and so whenever they would hot swap there was no internal battery for it to switch over to um, I bet there's quite a few people out there going oh that's what's going on so um, in the end what you need to do is make sure you can always check the status of that battery by going to your your main uh, settings page just by hitting this middle button and then just hitting that battery status and then you can look at it but um, additionally whenever you're storing these whether you're keeping it in your patrol vehicle or um, it, whether you bring it into your office make sure you're storing it with a battery in the back of the uh, crystal sky so that whenever you are on scene uh, you have the hot swap capability that sure does save a lot of time because otherwise what happens is the unit restarts it, it comes all the way down comes all the way back up you have to set everything back up again and uh, we don't want to be there. We want to be as, as uh, quick as possible. So anyway, hope this helps some of you folks out. Talk to you later. Bye.